Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how to set up HDR on the PlayStation 4 Slim. This will also work on the standard PlayStation 4 as well. Now HDR means high dynamic range and basically it allows more colours, more vibrant colours. So for example if you were to look at a sky, the clouds wouldn't be just white, they would be all different shades of white, the blacks are darker etc. It just looks a better picture. Now you have to have a HDR enabled TV for this to work and most of the new 4K TVs are HDR enabled. Now at the moment there isn't a huge amount of content unfortunately on the PlayStation 4 with HDR. This video is made in January 2017 and there's only a couple of games at the moment that have the HDR enabled when using 1080p. Also things like Netflix again as of when this video was made only do HDR when they're output in 4K and unfortunately the PlayStation 4 Slim and the standard PlayStation 4 do not output 4K so if you've got the PlayStation 4 Pro that's fine you will be able to get Netflix and stuff to output HDR but not on the PlayStation 4 Slim or the PlayStation 4 but still you might as well enable it because then the games that are available will look better and as more and more patches are released more and more games will have HDR. So there's a couple of things you have to do. You have to enable it on the PlayStation 4 and also on your TV as well. The TV in this video is a Samsung 40 inch 4K TV and that's the model number there. So first of all to enable it on the PlayStation all you've got to do is go up to settings, press X and then you need to go down to sound and screen and press X and then under video output settings which is the top one press X and then go down to HDR and at the moment it's set to off press X and put it to automatic and when you put it to automatic the deep color output below will also go to automatic so that's it the PlayStation 4 is now enabled for HDR now the next thing we have to do is we have to enable it on the TV now this could be complicated or it could be simple. On this TV it's quite complicated because unfortunately HDR only works on one particular port. So if I go to settings and under picture you need to go down to expert settings. Now bearing in mind this is going to be different if you haven't got a Samsung TV but hopefully it will be something similar. And under expert settings I need to go down to HDMI UHD color that's Samsung's word for HDR so I'm gonna press there and as you can see I can only enable it on HDMI 1 it won't let me do it on 2 and 3 this has got 3 HDMI ports this TV so I'm gonna turn it to on the problem I've got is PlayStation 4 is not connected to HDMI 1 is connected to HDMI 3 so what we're going to do is we're going to swap that over right now because if we leave it in 3 then the, the port at the back is not going to be enabled for HDR so let's unplug it from 3 and I'm going to plug it into 1 and then whatever you had plugged into 1 you can just plug into 3 because chances are the other stuff that you've got connected will probably not be HDR enabled you know if you've just got a standard set top box or something like that so at the moment now we we've got the PlayStation plugged into HDMI 1 so I'm going to go down I've turned that on I'm going to go down to close and now I'm going to go back up and I'm going to put everything onto game mode as well so if you press the left arrow and then go to special viewing mode I'm going to change it to game mode so if I change that, it says here, enable game mode for optimal speed when playing video games with a gaming console. Once enabled, there may be a slight decline in the graphics quality. So the graphics might not be quite as good, but then it's going to be more responsive. So that's up to you if you want to enable that or not. I'm going to enable it. So go to game mode and I'm going to turn that on. Right, so now we've got HDR enabled on HDMI 1 and game mode enabled as well. So I can exit that now. Now I need to change the source because remember at the moment we're on HDMI 3 but we've had to change the PlayStation over to HDMI 1 so I'm going to go to source and I'm going to go to HDMI 1 which is this one here and that's it. Now we will have 
the PlayStation 4 working on game mode and also with HDR enabled as well. So when you get those games that are HDR enabled, you will see that they should look a lot better. Okay, please give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.